Our next guest is our favorite all-time assistant coach at William Jewell. If you've not heard of it, it's in Missouri, in Liberty. That's where he's from. His <laughs> name is Nick Robinson, assistant coach with the men's basketball team on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. William Jewell, a, a, just the pride of Liberty, Missouri, right? What's going on, guys? William Jewell, an amazing place uh, with a Hall of Fame coach in Larry Holly. 900-plus uh, wins. Uh, was so fortunate to be able to play uh, or to work for him. And to, uh, he was actually my first scholarship offer uh, in uh, eighth grade. <laughs> nice. No one breaks down William Jewell hoops like BYU Sports Nation. Okay, how much sleep <laughs> did you get last night as you guys uh, played a late game with Pepperdine into overtime, and now you prep for Gonzaga in the title game? Hey, just enough sleep to be able to get us through title Tuesday. Let's go now. Um, you know, it was a great game last night. Uh, we got back uh, to the hotel. Our guys were able to eat and uh, stretch and uh, begin the process of getting a great sleep so they can recover for the day. And as a staff, we met uh, pretty quickly thereafter uh, to recap the game very briefly and uh, move on to uh, uh, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Nick, I would like to point out that compared to last year when BYU Sports Nation was so rudely interrupting your quiet time during free throws and practice. We complied this year and were super quiet and you won the game. So look, we'll take the accountability for not winning last year, but we complied this year and clearly it made a difference. Hey, I'm so glad you guys learned right from, uh, you know, mistakes. That's what we're all about with BYU basketball is getting better the next time, getting better every single day. <laughs> hey, Nick, it turns out that BYU is pretty good when Alex Barcelo doesn't have a broken, uh, you know, uh, hand or wrist or finger or whatever it was last year. What was it again? Yeah, no, so he had uh, a little bit of an issue, right, uh, with his hand, and he didn't have that issue uh, this time around, which was amazing. Um, you know, clearly, uh, you know, him being able to, uh, you know, make kind of the go-ahead shot as well as um, eight for eight from the free throw line. I mean, talk about our seniors, right? All three of them, they only missed one free throw um, and all crucial free throws. And, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great to have, you know, everybody healthy, uh, you know, at this stage and we want to continue to stay that way. Coach Pope referenced that this team is really good at winning beautifully ugly. It's this theme that you have going this season. How would you explain what winning <clears throat> beautifully ugly means? Yeah, I mean, for us, uh, you know, it's one of the things, you know, that, you know, we really, really strive, you know, each and every game uh, to give our everything that we can, right? We're a team that's uh, willing and, uh, you know, to respond from mistakes that we make. And, uh, you know, this team has done an outstanding job, you know, of uh, being able to battle through a 21 turnover game, um, being able to battle from 12 down and a half and 10 down and a half. Uh, to make it really exciting for, you know, Cougar Nation. You know, that's that's our goal, guys, is we want to keep everybody's heart rate up, you know, make sure that they're, uh, you know, alive and well, right, at uh, 1130 at night. And, um, uh, you know, but really hats off to our guys for uh, being able to, you know, be physical and, and really go against one of the great competitors, you know, that the WCC has seen. Um, you know, you talk about Colby Ross, who I think has started every game in his career. Uh, you know, they were last in the league when he got to the league. And, uh, you know, and he's been able to battle, uh, you know, night in and night out. And, uh, you know, really had us on the edge of our seats uh, as he was, I think, just a foot in front of that three-point line, um, you know, on that, <laughs> on that shot. Coach, Richard Harward's haircut qualifies as beautifully ugly as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich, Rich broke out the haircut uh, uh, last week, and uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, agree to disagree. That's all right, right? Uh, th <laughs> this was such an important win because your coaching staff, uh, you know, under uh, Mark Pope and the assistant, you guys hadn't lost a quad three game. That would have been a quad three loss. So you guys avoided what would have been uh, a Q3 for the first time. I can't believe you guys haven't had one yet. That's been pretty notable. Now you move to title Tuesday against number one Gonzaga. And St. Mary's and BYU, uh, you know, two teams that have three shots at uh, Gonzaga here. 
what what's different about this one other than it being the title game and how much do you use those previous game plans or throw them out the window yeah so i mean clearly we all know that gonzaga's right the number one team in the nation right they've got great offense uh they've got three players that i think are on the wooden watch list right and so you know those things you know we've been aware of um you know as the years progressed right their capabilities but the thing that's changed in in our minds is we've gotten better um after every time we've experienced gonzaga and so uh you know the street that we're on is because you know of our last game versus gonzaga you know the things that we were able to learn the things that we responded to um our guys ability to be able to uh you know be a little bit more uh, be a little bit tougher right to play uh together more um, to do uh, the ugly, beautiful, beautiful, ugly things, uh, you know, that are uh, help us uh, win games, um, you know. And so, uh, you know, we, we see that this is a real opportunity. And, um, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, but maybe a year ago that, you know, the BYU program was, you know, in a similar situation. And, um, you know, we're really, really excited about the opportunity to be able to play uh, Gonzaga on Title Tuesday. Coach, what can you take from a game last night in such a short amount of time and teach to your guys in order to make them more mentally tough and prepared better for Gonzaga tonight because it is such a short turnaround? Well, there's clearly one focus. Take care of the basketball. Um, you know, for us, uh, last night's game, uh, you know, we did a lot of really, really good things defensively. We did a lot of really good things offensively. Uh, but the 21 turnovers and everybody got a a chance to turn it over uh you know we've got to uh <laughs> we've got we've got to protect the basketball uh be strong with it uh, you know throughout the night tonight you know we've seen in the first two games uh, that early turnovers have really cost us and so uh you know we want to uh, respond you know in a real positive manner uh throughout the very first two or three minutes uh for sure uh, but consistently throughout the game because gonzaga they want to beat you um, out in transition, right? They want to, uh, you know, get steals or turnovers uh, and really run the floor, uh, and they do it at a very, very high level. So if you take care of the ball, and, and that was very generous of you to acknowledge that everyone had a chance, very giving, right, um, to turn it over last <laughs> night. Is that the key to the first couple minutes? Because up there it was like 23-2, to two and Provo was 14-2. to two. They just jumped out, and, and ultimately, like, that margin was kind of the difference. You guys were pretty even after that, but – that was the difference. So if you take care of the ball, you feel like, hey, you got it. You, you can make it weird later. Well, the, you know, in addition to taking care of the basketball, you know, clearly we've got to, you know, come with a real sense of urgency defensively, right? We've got to uh, execute offensively. Uh, we've got to uh, be really physical. Um, you know, Gonzaga, uh, you know, they're, you know, clearly, you know, the best team in the country uh, and they're very, very talented. But they also have a real edge to them and so you know for us you know we've got to come you know with an edge and a fight and a sense of urgency uh, not just to start the game but for all 40 minutes or 45 or 50 or however long it takes um you know we've got to play great basketball you know each individual guy's got to play for his teammate uh, they've got to make uh, plays for one another and uh, we've got to really do a great job of communicating and helping helping each other defensively Coach, no question they have a three-headed monster plus some when you look at the likes of Jalen Suggs, Corey Kispert, who's the conference player of the year, Drew Timmy's coming into his own in the post. So which player is the most critical to slow down, if you will, or contain in order to be in position to make things interesting late in the game? You know, I think for us, you know, it's really going to be about the team. Right. You know, you know, all those guys, you know, including some of the, uh, you know, the other guys, you know, they're averaging double figures, um, you know, but, you know, that, <clears throat> their strength is not the individual. Right. Their strength, along with our strength, it's really about the team. And so, you know, the team that comes out and is able to rebound at a really high level uh, that's able to, uh, you know, defend with urgency, uh, you know, without fouling and putting guys to the free throw line. Uh, the team that's able to come out and execute their offense without uh, turning the basketball over, the team that earns great shots, right, for one another, you know, that's the team that's ultimately going to, you know, be victorious tonight. And so, uh, you know, clearly, you know, they've got great individual basketball players, and so do we. 
you know, we're really excited about, uh, you know, the guys that, uh, you know, we've got on this team and the growth that they've had uh, from day one to now. And uh, it's March, you know, it's, it's title Tuesday. Uh, what more could we ask for? <laughs> if BYU wins tonight, will you help us do what Cody figure said he'd do if you win? which is give him that same bowl cut he had in a photo with Rick Majerus that we showed on the air a few weeks ago. I'm, I'm going to leave that privilege and honor to both of you and allow <laughs> you to uh, uh, enjoy that experience. Uh, I'll enjoy the photos in the aftermath. <laughs> yeah, well said. Do you want to throw your name in the ring for anything? You, you want to put your hair on the line to some degree? I don't know. We're, we're always game and open to other things. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that that's uh, in my wheelhouse right now. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be, <laughs> uh, I'll be ex super excited, just like all the Cougar Nation will be uh, as we go out and compete tonight. Well, Nick, we're stoked. And compete is the name of the game, right? Um, if you pull off the upset, it would be one of the biggest wins in uh, BYU history, and it'd be for a championship. And so we'll hope for the best. We'll hope that that happens tonight. Regardless, you're in the NCAA tournament, uh, you know, uh, coming up uh, Sunday, Selection Sunday, which is very exciting. And, and Mark has talked about this, Nick, and we'll finish on this, is that the, you guys are almost playing for the team last year as well. Like, they, whether, you, whether you like it or not, there's sort of this two-year thing associated with this group. So um, Sunday and tonight and Sunday, those are in and, and the tournament, it's meaningful for Yoli Childs and Jake Toulson and, and Zach Selyus and all those guys, right? Yeah, I mean, you think about the seven seniors that were on the team last year, right, who, uh, you know, many of them carried the program to the point that we are today. And, you know, how grateful we are for, you know, their amazing contributions and how disappointing it was uh, for them not to be able to experience the NCAA tournament. And so you're absolutely right. Coach Pope is absolutely right. Uh, you know, we're excited uh, for what's ahead tonight uh, and into the future, uh, not for just for this current team, right but for the teams of the past so um you know we're, we're super excited about the chance to compete tonight and uh and uh, let's go okay nick we appreciate the time best of luck tonight against the zags all right thanks guys